Hey guys, it's Rebecca Verstack. In today's video, I'm going to be trying to be a normal YouTuber uh, or a beauty YouTuber for that matter. I haven't talked really in any of my videos lately because I'm in Florida and it's hot and the air kicks on and it makes this low hum on the camera. And so I'm trying to avoid that. What I've done today is I've pushed my setup back a little bit. I have a a pretty long bathroom so the air vent is at least a good foot or two behind me up on the ceiling so hopefully if the air does kick on that the hum isn't quite as bad as it normally is um we'll see how this works so today i'm going to be trying out two new products one of them is this yensa B bc concealer bb plus cc full coverage concealer i tried this out this came in my ipsy glam bag this month um i put some on my hand and then i tapped a little under one eye and so um i noticed that it kind of dried down to like a powder finish so i'm going to be testing this out first i'm going to be using a sponge my finger and a brush to try and like apply it to see which method i kind of like the best um and then i'm going to get into this is palette number 19 for my may 2020 challenge to like use palettes i haven't filmed in a couple of days but this is the bite size palette from elf i've had this for a couple of weeks now i haven't used it yet this is the rosewater one it did come um with the shade broken as you can see there's a chunk missing out of the, the far corner here. And that was like all over everything in the palette. I have cleaned it, I've sanitized it um, more than once. I've tried to get all the dark purple shadow off of everything in here. Tried being the upward word, but I'm gonna be using that in today's like eye look. Um, so we're gonna start off with the concealer, then we're gonna do the eyes, and then I will finish up with the rest of the face. So we're gonna, I'm gonna drop it on the floor. I'm gonna start with this first. And I noticed from applying it that a little goes a long way with this. And I'm not going to use, like, are you, like, empty? Well, that's probably way too much. It's, like, 90% of this doesn't have product in it, so that's, you know, fun. Um, I'm not going to use, like, my color corrector like I normally would. I'm going to try this with my finger first. And then usually... Um, with something like this, I'll apply it with a finger and then go back with my brush or my beauty sponge. And this is a, a cool undertone, which I don't prefer a cool undertone because I'm a warm undertone. So I'm going to do a sponge under this eye because this is the one that isn't quite as dark. So I've noticed lately that... Um, I, I have like people that leave like really strange messages on my Instagram and I got a message yesterday from a subscriber asking if my Instagram was like broken or something. I'm like, no, why? I post on there almost daily. Um, I've noticed that Instagram is like marking people's comments as like spam. So your comments are being like hidden off of Instagram, just like we can't see what um, people like interact with our page and the brush wasn't doing anything, so that's why I went back to the sponge. It's not full coverage, but it did lessen the darkness under my eyes. I'm gonna try and get a little bit more. It just dripped out on my pants and it bloopied on the floor. We use what was on my pants. And I'm trying to concentrate this where all that dark purple stuff is. I'm going to try and scrub this off my pants before it sets. And that would be an elf. And it landed on my foot, not the floor. And what I usually do is I'll take my finger and just kind of wipe it off on my sponge and then whatever washcloth or whatever I've got here I smear off my fingers and there's the air fix and kick on. It's a little tacky and it looks brighter, but I'm sure um, because it oxidized on my hand, it's gonna oxidize under my eyes. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get started with this. Hopefully that hum isn't too annoying. I'm gonna start off with this like mauve shade here first. And I'm gonna use my new Farah eye brush that I got with my Ipsy bag as well. Everybody's raved about this palette. It's my first time using it, so we'll, we'll see how this works.
pretty pigmented actually. All right, now I'm gonna go into this last shade and I'm gonna do different placements on each eye with this color. Putting this in my actual crease and then outer edge. And then I'm going to carry this one up a little higher. I think I'm going to start with this shade right here. This is a little flat shader brush. It's a Morphe M213. This looks like a shadow I'm going to have to press over in order to get it to stay because it looks very glittery on the eye. Just kind of packing it where my eye folds right here because it looks like it wants to eat that shadow. I'm going to take the same shade and put it on the inner part of this eye as well. But I'm not going to drag it out as far. You don't build it up, it's very sheer. Okay, and then taking this shade here, I have a ton of glitter fallout. All of this is now shimmery. Okay, well that just made it a whole lot worse. I'm nothing but glitter all the way down to here. From eyeball to, yeah. I think I'm going to use this like darkest shade on this little brush and this also has glitter in it so only one of these shades is matte.
If I don't drop at least one thing five or six times, then it's not one of my videos. I always drop stuff in my videos. You just usually don't see me picking them up. I'm going into that second shade right here to buff that out. And it looks patchy right here on my eye. It still looks a little patchy. I don't know if it's the brush or the skincare underneath of it or what. I am not like in literally my both of my under eyes is completely covered with glitter. And I didn't put any shimmer up here and I've got glitter all the way from lash line to brow bone. So if you don't want a sparkly under eye, beware. I'm going to try and use a little bit of powder. This is that other Juno sponge. The blue one is a Juno sponge too. It's just a baby. This is the big one. And I usually use this one dry anyways. I'm going to put this powder down and I'm going to brush it right off. The Yensa product didn't need to be set, but I'm trying to get rid of the glitter. It helps some. And I am actually wearing, oh, you can't even see it. Um, I swiped a necklace from Inventory up and moved the tag. It's a 20 inch snake chain. It's a one millimeter round snake chain. And I'm wearing one of our Celtic pendants. This is actually um, a bunch of fleur de lis and then there's like texture on the back so you can wear it either direction. I'll zoom out a little bit here in a second so you guys can see it. But um, I've had a lot of people like asking me to do certain videos, um, like ranking videos for all of my Zodiac palettes. I don't really rank my makeup. I've never done a ranking video. I know that they're kind of like the thing on YouTube right now. Um, because I like to rotate through my palettes, I don't really have one that's like an absolute favorite. I mean, I have I have some that I, I like more than others, yes, but I don't have like, the, this one's the best out of all of them kind of thing. So maybe I could do a different take on a ranking video where I talk about which ones I would reach for more than the other ones kind of thing. And if you guys would be interested in seeing that, let me know and I can get that filmed because some of my Zodiac palettes from BH, I reach for more than the other ones, and some of them I don't want to reach for at all. So there's that. Um, even out of the two new ones that I have, I have a preference out of those two as well. So if you want to see that form of a ranking video, I can do that. Um, what was the other thing they asked? I've had people asking me like various things. Um, about different types of like formats that other youtubers use for their videos and I hate the one on this mascara I'm just using it to get the color put on and then I'm grabbing a this is one I wash every time I use it so the mascara formula itself is fine and usually I just dip this in the tube but I didn't feel like doing that today
This is the Butter Lipstick in Reaper Float. Basically, uh, minus the highlighter, it's a face full of affordable makeup. I will leave everything linked down below. Oh, and I got, technically I guess I have 45 palettes now because I ended up getting another one in an Ipsy bag that I was not expecting. Um, so I will try and do like first impressions. This palette, the looks are beautiful. I like both of them. This one looks a little, a little dark, a little, a little blown out. And I've got like this weird spot right here that didn't want to blend. So I don't, I don't know what's going on with it. I don't know. Blend. You don't seem to want to go anywhere. And I did do my skincare like hours ago. I don't know what's wrong with it. And it's not the brush. Because I used this brush the other day um, for another look. And so I just kind of color switched it. I'm running all my wet washcloth right now trying to get color off of it. Um, I don't know why that did that. Anyway, so I kind of, this video ended up turning into a diatribe. Um, I might cut some of this out and just put it in a separate video. Who knows? Um, but the e.l.f. Bite Size Palette, it's beautiful, but if you don't like glitter fallout, then make sure you don't do anything to your face first because only this one shade here doesn't have glitter in it. All the rest of these have glitter. Uh, the fallout was horrific. I've got glitter all underneath both of my eyes. Um, maybe had I powdered that Yensa product that it wouldn't have been so bad. The Yensa product isn't as bright anymore. If you look, it's, it's definitely toned down. It's more my skin color. Um, I think I like that. If it came in a different shade, like a warm undertone, I'd be even happier with it. But I will have to test this out more and see how I like it. But yeah, that's um, everything for right now. Um, I'll probably cut out a lot of the yammering and just make that a just chatty video. Who knows? Because uh, the look itself, I, I didn't, I, I did like 18, 20 minutes for that. And then I've kind of yammered on for another 15, so. If you guys have questions, check my other videos to see if I answer them because sometimes I randomly blurt out stuff or I get into a diatribe at the end of a video and you're going to miss it if you don't watch to the end. So um, instead of like asking me the same thing over and over again, maybe watch the video all the way through before you get in the comment section and leave a comment asking me the same thing you asked like two videos before, but you skipped the one in between because I answered it there. And I usually do record um, several videos in a row and then I edit them all at once. Like right now I've got like seven videos that need to be scheduled right now. And I've got four or five more that I still need to edit. So I'm like way ahead of the game right now. I've got the rest of May ready to schedule out <laughs> right now. And I still have like half my palettes to get through. So um, I just haven't been feeling makeup the past couple of days. Uh, a lot of things have been ticking me off. Uh, things have been irritating me and all of a sudden I get a red spot on my neck. I don't know why the joys of sensitive skin. So I will see you guys in another video. Hopefully this is helpful. Um, and maybe you learned something and I will see you guys in another video soon. Bye.